We understand the judge has ordered a closed court. What's the significance of that? Any information going on as to what's going on inside? Absolutely. Well, we were inside when the judge did make that order. And of course, her family, Ahad Tamimi's family and defence counsel petitioned the court for an open trial. Uh, they said that Ahad Tamimi's uh, interests would be best served in the light of day with full transparency. Now, the prosecution didn't really go against uh, the, the defence trial's motion at all. They said they had no strong opinions either way, whether it should be closed or open. This was ultimately at the discretion of the judge. He said because Ahad Tamimi is a minor, she turned 17 uh, just uh, a week ago actually in court, oh, sorry, while in prison, uh, said that her interests would actually be best served because she's a minor uh, without media uh, in her face. Obviously, that's not what the family wanted, so everyone's been kicked out. The only people who are allowed in the court are family members and uh, observers, including uh, diplomats who are here and human rights organisations. So what we do know, though, is that preliminary hearings are underway and the trial has finally started with after some delays. And what do people there make of this case? Well, that's a very good question. This case has really polarised society uh, almost uh, directly down the middle. Some people see Ahad Tamimi as the symbol of Palestinian resistance, really embodying the frustrations that many people feel, especially in the occupied uh, territories. Now, this slap, Ahad Tamimi's assault, alleged assault on the soldier came after she got the news that her 15-year-old uh, cousin had been shot in the head uh, by a soldier and seriously wounded. However, here outside of court, if we can pan around into the courtyard here, you'll see all of these people lining up, uh, trying to get in. They're here because they themselves have their own family members waiting uh, waiting for trials, waiting for proceedings uh, to begin. And one lady told us that, quite frankly, she's sick of all the attention that Ahad Tamimi is receiving. She has a 19-year-old son that she hasn't seen in two months uh, who's being held uh, by the Israeli military for unspecified reasons. He, she said, well, what about her child. What about all the other uh, teenagers and minors who are being held by the Israeli military? There's an estimated 300 of them.